Hi guys, it's Dr. Kelly Lip here for Tooth Talks Tuesday. My friend Emmy, who's five years old, has a question for us about these guys right here. Sugar bugs. So Emmy, what's your question? How do sugar bugs cause cavities? So Emmy, what do you think causes sugar bugs to give you cavities? Um, because you eat too much sugar? You're completely right. Sugar does cause cavities. But there's a whole lot more to the story than just sugar. Sugar bugs, also known as oral bacteria, are bugs that live in all of our mouths and are invisible. In the right environment, these bugs will eat holes in our teeth, also known as cavities. In order to get a cavity, these sugar bugs need three other things. Sugar bugs, of course, need a tooth. These sugar bugs also need sugar bug foods, which are also known as fermentable carbohydrates. Foods that sugar bugs like include anything with sugar in it, so candies, crackers, fruit snacks, and chips are great examples. And lastly, these sugar bugs need time to cause cavities. It takes an average of six months for a cavity to form. If you have all four of these things, sugar bugs, teeth, sugar bug food, and time, you'll get cavities. And if any of these four components are eliminated, you won't get cavities. So if you have really good oral hygiene habits and you're doing a great job at brushing and flossing every day, you're less likely to get cavities because you're constantly removing the sugar bugs from your teeth. And if you don't have any teeth, you won't get a cavity. This is why newborn babies can't get cavities on their teeth until they come in. If you're not eating a lot of sugar bug foods, then you also won't get a cavity. A good example of this is people who are eating a ketogenic diet or a keto diet. These diets are really low in fermentable carbohydrates, so it significantly reduces your risk of cavities. So this is why you're right, Emmy, when you said, Because you eat too much sugar? That's definitely a contributing factor to cavities. And lastly, if all these cavity risk factors are transient, you won't get a cavity. So an example of this is if you only occasionally have sugary foods, such as a cupcake, but you're really good about brushing afterwards, that's going to reduce your risk of having cavities. And there you have it, Emmy. That's the full story of... How do sugar bugs cause cavities? And I hope you can use this information to keep your mouth nice and healthy.